uh, yeah, we are live now. So thank you so much, uh, Russ and Ben Hira, for taking out a time from your busiest routine. And uh, I can see that uh, nowadays you have a number of responsibilities regarding uh, students are applying for the September intake. And uh, we can see that it's a major intake and how it impacts on, uh, uh, you can say, a Pakistani student. So, uh, Welcome you, uh, both of you. And uh, I would like to introduce uh, uh, myself first, and then I'll introduce you. Uh, uh, guys, my name is Ismail Zahoor, and uh, I'm representing Prospects Consulting. Uh, uh, we are an education consulti uh, consultancy based in Pakistan um, in the two major cities, Lahore and Islamabad. And uh, uh, we are striving for our best services. So uh, we would like to see you all. Uh, your answers, your comments, and uh, we would like to answer your questions. So uh, I would like to introduce Mr. Russ, and, uh, who is a regional manager, South Asia, and uh, representing Coventry University. So welcome, Russ. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. And I would like to introduce um, M. Hira, who is representing Pakistan as a country manager. And uh, she has been with the Coventry University since uh, last five years. So. Uh, really glad to see you, ma'am. Thank you so much, Ismail. Thank you for having me here. Yeah, uh, welcome both of you on board, and uh, uh, let's start now. Sure. Great. Okay. Thanks very much, Ismail, and thanks to Prospects for inviting us along to um, have this this uh, webinar today. Um, this gives us an opportunity, really, to talk a little bit about Coventry University for some students who have. Uh, logged in to, to hear a little bit more. So what I'll do today, um, I've got a, a few things to talk about, but I'll start off really by talking about Coventry University itself. Um, so Coventry is the 15th ranked university in the Guardian rankings. And uh, we're a modern university and we have two campuses in the UK. So one is in Coventry City itself and the second one is in London. And uh, Co Coventry University, uh, Coventry City campus, I should say, is the main campus. And uh, there we have uh, courses in business and with courses in engineering and computing and uh, health and life sciences and arts as well. So that's where the majority of our courses are. And in London, what we have there is it's a business campus, so business school. You get all of different kinds of uh, bachelor's and master's courses in business, um, which I'll come on to a little bit more. Uh, later on. So that's where the, the campuses are. Coventry itself is a medium large city really based in the Midlands of the UK quite near to Birmingham which is the nearest uh, big city in the UK. It's about 15-20 minutes away from Coventry and Coventry is about one hour away from London as well on the on the train. Um, so in terms of the campus Coventry uh, city campus is based in the middle of the city. So it's in city centre within walking distance of, of everywhere in Coventry. You've got all of your supermarkets and your cafes and your restaurants, etc. Um, and they are maybe five or ten minutes walk away from the, the campus itself. Um, and in London, the campus is also based in, in central London. Um, for those of you who have been to the UK before and know London, it would be Zone 1, which is what we call the middle of, of the city. Um, slightly to the east, and you've got around there lots of different businesses that operate. And in fact, some, quite a few of those businesses we have internships for with our students in London. A lot of banks, etc., and consulting firms and different kinds of, of firms. Mainly they're based in London. So for our London students, it gives quite a good opportunities for internships and things when they're there too. Um, as for the classes in Coventry, one thing I'd say, Coventry is one of the largest recruiters in the UK for international students, third largest, in fact, in the country. And so our classes are very diverse. We have students from over 100 countries who attend Coventry. So it's a very international experience, both in the main campus and in London. Um, so when students come along to study their will end up having networks and friends with people all across the world, which is also an important part of the international study experience, which is, is less talked about really, but I think it, it's uh, quite important for students to get that network for them. It will be very helpful later on for career opportunities, etc. Um, we have quite a lot of different courses, uh, really, it's a diverse list. I think amongst students from Pakistan, 
probably some of the most uh, commonly uh, chosen courses are our business courses and also our engineering and computing courses. Um, so, for example, at bachelor's level, we have bachelors of uh, global business management in our London campus, and we have bachelors of um, business management in, in um, Coventry itself. Those are two quite popular courses, um, but we have quite a lot of different courses in business, such as business management, marketing management, um, we have um, artificial intelligence, cyber security. Absolutely, yeah. in our engineering. I'm just talking about in business first. We also got our suite of MBA um, mm -hmm. courses as well for postgraduate students, which are quite popular. Um, we have one MBA in London, which is, sorry, in in um, Coventry, which is for more mm -hmm. of a um, experienced uh, student. Like, well, you need at least two years' experience to do the MBA in Coventry, and then, and then we in London we have a, a range of freshers MBAs. So some students want to get out of finishing their bachelor's and then progress into a master's in business and we have opportunities for you there as well. So there's quite a few different options for students. Um, in engineering, we've, as Hira was saying, we've also got um, things like uh, we have mechanical engineering, automotive engineering, we have uh, data science, uh, sorry, we have computer science as well. Um, and there's quite a lot of uh, different options there for, for students particularly with the masters we're actually operating um, a one plus one model so one year of studying and then one year of internship uh, as well in our, a lot of quite a lot of our engineering courses including computer science and, um, and various others too so um, there's quite a lot of different uh, opportunities there for students actually one thing we're quite big on at Coventry is uh, internship opportunities we realized years ago actually that um, one of the things that students are most interested in is uh, getting work experience when they finished their, um, their, their degree. Um, statistics tell us that students who actually get a internship when they study are much more likely to progress well um, when they've finished, especially if they're staying in that uh, host country. So um, we've been very big on that. We have a five star uh, employability rating from QS um, to really sort of highlight, I suppose, our efforts and our teams have won awards on their ability for um, putting students into internships. So you're in very safe hands with, with, with those courses. And it is very important more than ever these days uh, because it's a very competitive environment out there. Lots of students are studying overseas. Um, so you need to come back with some kind of competitive advantage when you're looking for jobs and then internship top companies like we work with at Coventry can, can really help you with that. Um, other courses as well that are popular, we have health and life science courses. Uh, we have quite a few of those courses actually run at, um, for the postgraduates, run at 20 months. So it's 12 months of, um, of actual teaching and then eight months of internship afterwards. And that's guaranteed as well. So we, we'll place you um, into an opportunity there. And, or, or you can do research projects within the um, the university, but the visa itself is not curtailed, of course, um, and uh, that, that's a real added advantage there. Uh, we have things like um, biomedical science, for example, is one where you get a, an eight-month internship afterwards, so that, that can be quite a, an important advantage for students. And we also have... Biotechnology, uh, pharmacy, pharmacology, and drugs discovery, yep. Absolutely, yeah. And uh, we have an arts and uh, um, arts and uh, humanities um, school as well, which lots of different courses in there in, in terms of like journalism and English literature and language and things like this. So quite a wide variety of courses that we offer. There's something for everyone. But amongst Pakistan students tends to be the most popular is our business courses and engineering and computer, computer courses as well. So that's a little bit about... about um, the university. Um, just a couple of other statistics for you though as well. Uh, we have um, recently been awarded um, five stars, as I said, um, by QS for our employability, but also for our um, facilities and uh, teaching as well, teaching standards. So five stars, um, which we're very proud of. And we have a TEF Gold, which is Teaching Excellence Framework um, of Gold Level. So um, you know you're in good hands. We tend to employ a lot of our professors who have come from the industries in which they're, they're, they're teaching, actually. So a lot of our engineering um, 
professors have worked at quite a high level within engineering and in business too. A lot of our um, our uh, lecturers in business have themselves been successful business people, and in fact, some in some cases are just teaching uh, part time because it's something that they enjoy doing, passing on that experience. I think that's probably what's helped us get such a good reputation for employability, because the professors are able to show the students what it is that um, they need themselves when they're hiring graduates in their own companies they are teaching um, our grad our students to become those types of graduates so it's a it's a very practical and very hands-on kind of work that you do probably more so than you might do back home where uh, it can be a bit more theoretical sort of book taught type of learning whereas Coventry is much more practical um, of course, there are exams and there is plenty of book learning you have to do as well. But we like to get our students involved in group assignments and work, you know. Um, yeah. I think we've um, uh, lost Ismail there for a little bit. Um, but yeah, so, so that's a little bit about, about Coventry anyway. And um, uh, thank you so much for such a a uh, brief introduction about Coventry University and uh, uh, I think uh, I need to ask a, a question a bit earlier you can see uh, you can see nowadays the situation is uh, getting very really much different due to COVID-19 so sure. how Coventry leading in this situation and uh, can you please throw some light that what is the current situation in the UK and mm. how you uh, you are going to uh, take on this thank you sure Sure, absolutely. Well, um, you know, it'd be nice to put a very bright light on it, but it's not quite like that at the moment in the UK, of course. We've had our troubles with the COVID-19 um, virus. Everyone's working at home, including myself. Um, this has become commonplace. But uh, Prime Minister Boris Johnson, excuse me, had um, uh, did a, a speech on Sunday where he talked about opening up the country again. So uh, currently what's happened is um, Britain was hit relatively hard by the, the virus initially, but the curve is being flattened as it, as it was, and the, the amount of uh, problems that we've had here has been coming down uh, significantly now. So it's a lot um, more, um, people are a lot more hopeful here now than they were like a month ago yeah. and people were panicking, uh, but it's not really like that. Anymore. Yeah. And uh, we're now talking about when we can reopen the offices and people will go back to work, etc. So it's becoming a lot more, um, a lot more optimistic, I think. Not to say we're out of out of the woods yet, because we're not. But as we can see, like across Europe, and in fact across the whole world, I mean, you're seeing the, these same issues playing out. But um, now that there's been social um, uh, distancing going on in the UK, uh, it's actually enabled us to control the. Uh, it, epidemic much more than we had done initially um, and like here in Coventry what we've done a lot of students um, for example students who are currently at the university they wanted to go home and we appreciate that people at times of like this want to be home rather than in a foreign country without family mm -hmm. so um, we allowed the students to go home and we cancelled their uh, accommodation um, costs so they didn't have to pay anything like being at home and in in the UK which of course helped um, that would cost them the, the university millions of pounds, of course, but it's the right thing to do. And you don't want to charge people when they're not actually there, you know. And we've been doing our um, our teaching online. And actually, Coventry is an award winner coming to online uh, teaching. And in fact, uh, in the Guardian newspaper, uh, Guardian recently, there was an article about certain universities in the UK, of which Coventry was one, who really excel at the online delivery of courses. We've been having some quite positive feedback um, from our our students about about the online teaching as well. Um, but like yeah. honestly, I think you know the COVID issue isn't yeah. really um, it's not not going to go away immediately. Certainly, it'll still be with us for a, a few more months, I believe, uh, in total. But it's going to get gradually less and less of a, an issue, and uh, we're, we're turning the corner on it quite quite uh, quickly. Actually, so I'm quite happy with that now. Um, and yeah, so that's a little bit about that. And um, in terms of uh, what will happen next, I think some students are probably interested to hear about like our own plans for this year at Coventry in terms of um, course delivery and stuff like this. For us, we plan to have September business as normal, that we don't see that there should be any 
uh, issue at the moment to holding our September intake. Um, that that will be like four, four and a half months away. That's a great decision. And Sorry? I guess that's a great decision and you are uh, leading in the right direction. That's uh, most of students are really concerned about that uh, about the September intake, and they, they really want to seek an information from the university official. So yeah, mm. uh, uh, students who are with us, you can uh, uh, listen to us. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, for us, we're we're thinking it'll be just be business as usual. We're not uh, anticipating yeah. a delay on the intake or anything like this. Um, I mean, should it happen, and I don't think it will, but should it happen? that we do have to delay the intake. I couldn't no, see it having like more than a few weeks or, or a month or something like that, maybe. But I, even yeah. so, I doubt it. I think it will just be as per normal. Yeah, um, normal yeah. One thing that we will probably do is implement some kind of social distancing even within the um, lecture theatre. So students might not be sitting right next to each other, but nearby each other and encouraged initially yeah. at least to uh, not um, be particularly physically close to other students, that sort of thing, um, mm -hmm. because uh, just for safety and precautions. But uh, yeah, I don't see any um, problem with September mm -hmm. right now. Yeah, I guess that's great news. Mm. Yeah. So uh, we have covered a bit introduction about a Coventry University. You have pretty uh, qualified the criteria that how Coventry University being ranked in the top on the basis of TEF, on the basis of uh, Garden University guide. That's really great. And we are very really privileged to work with the uh, Coventry University as uh, one of the leading recruiters from the Pakistan, I guess. So, Absolutely. Uh, yeah. yeah. So, prospects is, uh, is a very I key part of us. That, uh, prospects consulting is working with the uh, you can see uh, a, a, a top agent is a uh, working with the uh, Coventry University. So uh, we are uh, processing with no fee, and uh, we are entertaining uh, a student with no fee. So this is I I can see it's a best partnership. And I can see a best situation where students can apply. So that's great. So coming to the next question, which Pakistani students are really seek towards is the fee and the scholarship opportunities at Coventry University. So would you like to share some uh, points uh, on this? Sure. Um, so what we have currently, I mean, uh, we've put together quite um, a, um, uh, a, a big suite of different opportunities for our international students, including Pakistani students, uh, for September intake onwards. Um, well, whilst this, this isn't on our website yet, you should expect to see it within a week or two. Um, so what, what we have is um, we're offering what we call Phoenix Awards for our students that are, um, that are enrolling. So um, basically it will be dependent to a certain degree on how much how, how big your scores were um, at at your previous study be it your um, high school if you're doing bachelor's or your bachelor's degree if you're going for masters um, but we have uh, these things Phoenix Awards what they will do is we're offering out free accommodation within the uh, university to our students at bronze silver and gold levels depending on what your scores were etc um, bronze will be available for everyone. Um, silver yeah. is normally um, if you've got, uh, well we have to actually work out what the percentage is, but it would be a good grades at your undergraduate level, um, such for example um, perhaps 65 Eight. or 70, <laughs> something along, those, uh, along yeah. those lines. And then gold is for high achievers again um, this is the equivalent of someone who has got a, a very strong previous study background um, 90 the percent thing, above when the postgraduate and one one degree or one one degree or an undergraduate must have nearly uh, a stars or a's uh, would qualify for uh, fully funded uh, accommodation for, mm. the, for the whole yeah. year yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe sure. you have used the word one one degree. So a Pakistani student need to have a bit clarification on this. Would you please clarify this point? So we we'll get, we'll, we'll get back uh, on it more in detail. But generally, it is ninety percent or above marks uh, in your last qualification to qualify for the fully funded uh, accommodation. And then, uh, as Russ uh, described, that there was silver medalist in that as well. 
uh, that is 80% or above to qualify for a two semesters accommodation. And then the bronze ones uh, is for everyone. And that is for one semester uh, accommodation. And there is no grade requirement in that. But uh, the, by the name of Phoenix Award, it will be available on our website very soon. Mm. Yes. There may, there may be there. some flexibility with those percentages yeah. as well. Yeah. But we, we'll, we'll print that up uh, shortly. Mm. Yeah. So, so what, what it actually entails, the award, is um, bronze medalist will give you free accommodation for the first semester silver medalist will be free accommodation for the first two semesters and gold is free for the entire year now if you put that into if you want a, a figure on that as to what kind of cost saving that would be if we're looking at accommodation like student um, student accommodation this would be normally around about five or six hundred pounds per month uh, including your bills um so if you imagine that um, over the course of semester, it really adds up. So that, that's quite a, a big uh, amount of money. I mean, over the course of a year, you're looking at more than five, six thousand pounds or something like that. And of course, um, exactly. partially for, for the silver and bronze. Um, and so that, that itself should be quite an attractive uh, prospect for students. It'll be a saving to their overall costs of many thousands of pounds. Um, we also offer um, we'll cl uh, free airport transfer and arrival once you, once you get to the UK. And we'll also be providing you with um, some vouchers for um, the Centre for Global Engagement. Uh, £500 for the bronze, £750 for the silver medalist, £1,000 for the gold medalist. And the uh, Centre for Global Engagement is part of the university that um, works with students on things like overseas trips, um, study abroad, uh, things like this. So there are lots of opportunities that we have for students to take them overseas to see different countries across Europe or wherever it might be on study trips. And we'll be giving either 500, 750 or a thousand pounds voucher to these students as well for that. So that's an extra helping if you want to uh, take advantage of the opportunities that we have there at Coventry. Yeah. That's great. And um, uh, I can see uh, students, you can find a number of scholarships in, as uh, Russ has discussed uh, uh, just uh, now. Uh, so uh, there are plenty of scholarships that are available to avail the accommodation opportunity. And I guess uh, this is a wonderful opportunity. Mm. Yeah. Thanks. Yes. Actually, Coventry, um, because if you look at our ranking at 15 and you look in that um, the other universities around that mark, you'll see that their, their fees is generally higher than Coventry anyway, often by about 20, yeah. 25% higher, quite a lot higher. Our fees have always been thought of as being quite reasonable for our position. Um, so as a result of that, we've never really had very big scholarships to give out because we've never really needed it, to be honest, because people see the value that they get. Um, so now with these uh, scholarships, which are potentially many thousands of pounds, depending on, on which um, segment you get. It, it's quite a, a big, big help, I think, for students. These are, aren't the easiest of times. So anything that we can offer that helps students and their families mm -hmm. save uh, several thousand pounds is, is no doubt going to be quite welcome. And on top Thank of so it, uh, the parents would have a lot of concerns that where exactly the, the child is going, where he's be, he'll be staying, kahan ja ke rahega, wo jaga kaisi hai. उन्होंने कहा जाके रहना है और किन क्या सराउंडिंग्स हैं और स्पेशली जब यूनिवर्सिटी उस अकोमोडेशन को ओन कर रही है तो उसकी सारी सिक्योरिटी हर चीज का ख्याल और एहतियात जो है वो यूनिवर्सिटी खुद ले रही है तो ये एक मेरा ख्याल है कि बड़ा अच्छा इनिशिएटिव दिया गया एग्जैक्टली आई गेस दैट्स अ ग्रेट इनिशिएटिव मैम बाय द कोवेंट्री यूनिवर्सिटी सो या सो कमिंग टुवर्ड्स आई थिंक रस वी हैव डन विद द प्रेजेंटेशन और डू वी हैव समथिंग टू डिस्कस um from my from your, point of view that's pretty yeah. much it in terms of what i wanted to, the message i wanted to get across just to sum up then 
mainly that the message, that the most important thing was that we're planning to have business as usual for September. Um, we don't see it being delayed. Um, Coventry as a university will try everything we can to fulfill our obligations. We have said that we will do September, so we will want to do our September. Um, the um, next thing is we have this suite of different uh, scholarships as well, uh, which will be many thousands of pounds for a lot of students. Um, this will be a finalised, you should see this actually on our website in the next week or two. Um, mm -hmm. But this is one of the most generous offerings of scholarships that I've ever seen at Coventry. Um, mm -hmm. And Coventry being the largest recruiter of um, international, uh, largest recruiter of students uh, from Pakistan in the UK, and third largest yeah. of students in the UK all across the world, um, we have a lot of uh, support for students when they arrive so that they don't need to feel nervous or, or anything coming to a new country a lot of people will do obviously because being away from home and everything but we have a lot of experience of, of looking after students from overseas as well so um that they need not be worried of course yeah, yeah. i am uh, when you said when you said uh, largest recruitment from the pakistan i really agree with you russ the reason is that I have been uh, in the past. I have been the part of uh, Coventry University. I was the <laughs> recruitment manager. So yeah, I really agree with you. And uh, and the kind of student support which uh, Coventry University is providing that is uh, marvelous. So yeah, and, and the kind of uh, student satisfaction level in the Coventry University is really high. So uh, it, uh, yeah, that's great. So uh, uh, coming towards the section where we have decided to uh, include the number of questions and uh, uh, Ma'am Hira will uh, cater those questions and uh, try to answer as uh, uh, as relevant as possible. So Ma'am, a uh, number of students are asking about that in current situation, you can see uh, from Pakistan, number of students are applying for the Coventry University English test, CUET. So in such condition, COVID-19, what are uh, you take on on this how uh, you are supposed to give the IELTS waiver option is it available for the September intake or not so students are very keen to know about this over sure. to you now sure so first of all uh, we have alternate options so if a student has 70 percent above marks in their FSE English which is out of 200 140 or above they straight away get an IELTS exemption. They don't need any IELTS. It's for both undergraduate and postgraduate, right? Uh, if he has 70% uh, above in English, if his English, no IELTS required. Then if a student has O levels English grade A, B or C, uh, he will straight away get an IELTS exemption. On top of it, we run our own assessment test as well, which is called CUET. Uh, due to the situation now, uh, we are not conducting it anymore because that is a paper-based test, but we are planning to shift it to online. And the online test hopefully will be uh, out from next month, Russ, if I'm not wrong. Uh, we are planning to convert it into online from next month. Correct, so yeah. this is going to be a good news for the student that's sitting in their home. They can appear for this test. And also in the meantime, we are accepting IELTS invigilator test for, uh, for IELTS exemption. TOEFL IBT and Oxford International English Test. There's a fee for this test, which is 50 pounds, and we do accept this test. So uh, it's entirely up to the student if they want to take these three tests, which I've named TOEFL IBT, IELTS Invigilator, uh, and uh, Oxford International. They can give that, or they can wait for our English test to be set up as online from next month. And that would be free of cost. Coventry yeah. test is going to be free of cost. Yeah, uh, that's great, ma'am. That's great. And uh, uh, students are asking about Duolingo test. Mm. Duolingo test. So, uh, yeah. Actually, I just want to add something on the Duolingo. Yeah, I've heard confirmation today that we will be accepting that moving forward. It hasn't actually, this great, is just literally great, about great. one hour ago. I, I heard that. So um, I'm waiting for official um, confirmation from the director but um, that should be coming through very soon. So we got enough official news from Russ today in a live <laughs> session, so that's great. Semi-official, yeah. semi-official. 
ओवर जो मैं पाकिस्तानी स्टूडेंट्स काफी कंसर्न है इस हवाले से कि वो फीस पे करें या ना करें क्योंकि आपको पता है कि सितंबर इनटेक है और दे आर कंसर्न के एम्बेसीज कब ओपन होंगी तो उसी के रिगार्डिंग मैं एक क्वेश्चन आपकी स्क्रीन पे मैम शेयर कर रहा हूँ ये स्टूडेंट ने हमसे भी पूछा है लाइव सेशन में कि इज इट ओके टू पे अ फी राइट नाउ फॉर द सितंबर इनटेक और शुड आई वेट फॉर द एम्बेसी ओपनिंग इन पाकिस्तान सो आई वुड रिकमेंड कि आप अपना प्रोसेस कंप्लीट करें और जितनी जल्दी हो सके आप अपनी जो ऑफर लेटर के ऊपर कंडीशन हैं उनको मीट करें अपनी फ़ी पे करें इंटरव्यू प्रपरेशन की तरफ आए जो टेस्ट हैं जो ऑल्टरनेट है आइल्स का या इंग्लिश का टेस्ट है यानी कि आप प्रपरेशन की तरफ आए क्योंकि अगर खुदा न खास्ता खुदा न खास्ता गॉड फॉर बिटन अगर सेप्टेम्बर फॉर सम रीज़न नहीं भी होती हम बहुत पॉजिटिव हैं सितंबर रन होगी लेकिन इन केस अगर नहीं होती तो कॉवेंट्री की साल में तीन इंटेक्स होती हैं और ये आज से नहीं हम दस साल से तीन इंटेक्स रन कर रहे हैं वी हैव सितंबर इंटेक वी हैव जनवरी इंटेक एंड देन वी हैव मई इंटेक सो अगर किसी वजह से स्टूडेंट सितंबर में नहीं ज्वाइन कर पाता तो वो जनवरी में ज्वाइन कर सकता है अगर वो जनवरी में भी ज्वाइन नहीं कर पाता तो वो मई में ज्वाइन कर सकता है और ये हमने स्टार्ट ऑलरेडी हम 10 साल से इसको प्रैक्टिस कर रहे हैं बहुत सी ऐसी यूनिवर्सिटीज हैं जो पहली दफा शायद सोच रही हैं कि अगर सितंबर रन नहीं होगी तो हम सोचते हैं कि हम जनवरी इंटेक भी निकाल लें लेकिन कॉमेंट्री तो 10 साल से इस चीज को ऑलरेडी प्रैक्टिस कर रहा है और टॉप रिक्रूटर है पाकिस्तान से अपनी तमाम इंटेक्स के अंदर तो हम बहुत पॉजिटिव हैं आप अपने प्रोसेस को कम्प्लीट करें आप अपना इंटरव्यू प्रोसेस स्टार्ट करें आप आइल्स का टेस्ट दें या ऑल्टरनेटिव टेस्ट दें और या वेरी होपफुल कि इंशाल्लाह रन होगा और अपनी फीसेज आप पे करें मेरा ये मशवरा है That's great, that's great. मैम एक क्वेश्चन मैंने ऑलरेडी आपसे पूछ लिया अबाउट लिंगो टेस्ट बट जो स्टूडेंट कंसर्न ये है कि जब वो वीजा इमिग्रेंट ऑफिसर के पास जाएगा सो देर इज एनी काइंड ऑफ नीड के उसको ये दोबारा टेस्ट आइल्स देना पड़ेगा या ड्यूलिंगो की बेस पे ही वो एक्सेप्ट हो जाएगा वीजा ऑफिसर जी जी ड्यूलिंगो की बेस पे ही एक्सेप्ट होगा और जब हम कैश इशू करते हैं तो हम उसके अंदर कैश स्टेटमेंट में अपडेट करते हैं कि आप हमने किस बेस के ऊपर स्टूडेंट को असेस किया है तो उसके अंदर ये अपडेट हम क्या स्टेटमेंट के अंदर अपडेट करते हैं सो आई होप अहमद आपको आपका आंसर मिल गया थैंक यू सो मच फॉर आस्किंग अ क्वेश्चन मैम आई एम एडिंग अ क्वेश्चन जस्ट अ बिट Mem, uh, this is the question that uh, student is asking about that uh, score of Duolingo test. Okay, how much score required to waive off IELTS? Um, yeah, we, we don't really have that information yet, as we've only heard confirmation today that it's being accepted. Um, what will happen is that once we have absolute confirmation from the director that it's being accepted, um, then we'll release more information about that. So if the uh, students can just wait. Or maybe a few days or a week or something. We should have more information then. <clears throat> sure, thank you. Uh, Ma'am, one student is asking about. Uh, uh, he has done. Uh, let me just add his question, so that yeah, question is a bit long. So uh, he is asking. Let's uh, if someone complete his BSc honors in accounting and finance for international business topper from UK in Coventry University. Okay, so will he eligible for ACCA? And if so, uh, then how much paper exemption will get? Uh, he will get in ACCA on the basis of the bachelor from Coventry University. I'm I, 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 I'm not sure about that myself. Um, if here I, we can always um, ask the admissions team about that if it's it's quite a specific question. Um, I can definitely please. refer to the admissions yeah. team. But what mm. I have heard of is in general, I will general answer on this. If a student has uh, done a BSc Accounting and Finance degree from Coventry, they normally get nine papers exemption. So, but I need to get back on it as a firm response. So, uh, if mm. uh, Ismail could write it in an email, and I'll get back to you with a firm decision on it. But normally, sure, as sure. a vice versa, if uh, any student uh, ACCA, just if ACCA background ka student hai, and he has six papers in ACCA, we normally accept 
that student on to second year of her accounting and finance degree if a student has done three uh, nine papers of acca we accept them on to the top up degree uh, in accounting and finance if is to end in london campus if a student has done nine papers he can directly qualify for three masters courses that we have in london campus uh, if a student has done nine papers plus professional ethic module they can qualify for the courses in coventry campus directly to the masters degree so we have acca exemptions and we do accept that yeah i hope sakib uh, you have find the answer and uh, we will raise your query, uh, query to the admissions uh, at coventry so that uh, we can give you a specific uh, outcome on the basis of your uh, question so that's great so we have another question ma'am uh, a student named zara is asking is there any kind of monthly stipend scholarship is being offered at coventry university ras i think you can answer this question well uh Sure. Um, in terms of a monthly pay, uh, no. That tends to happen more at PhD level, where students would be getting a monthly stipend. For looking at bachelors and masters, that's not really very common in the UK, at least. I can't speak for other countries. Um, any scholarships that we give to students in terms of a fixed uh, payment amount, um, we will tell them about what, what that is initially. It's not done monthly or anything like that. and just to sure. add on something uh, i hope that i do scholarships available uh, for students so agar to koi national level pe international level ke upar koi bhi sports play kar raha hai to uske liye hamare paas sports scholarships hain students ke liye and that are available on coventry website to aap wahan pe jaake uske liye apply kar sakte hain aur details uske liye sakte hain sure sure uh Ma'am, student is asking about a scholarship, uh, kind of for the international students of the Pakistan student. As we can see uh, from the past in intakes, Coventry University is being uh, has been offered uh, some bursaries. You can say a bit scholarship of fifteen hundred to two thousand pound. So, uh, what's the current decision on uh, on the September intake? Sure. सो फॉर माय इनटेक हमने माय इनटेक के अंदर जो अभी हमारी ऑनलाइन माय इनटेक रन हो रही है ऑनलाइन कोर्सेज हमने स्टार्ट कर दिए हैं मैं के जो फर्स्ट सेमेस्टर ऑनलाइन है और सेकंड सेमेस्टर इंशाल्लाह स्टूडेंट वहां पर खुद जाके अटेंड करेगा तो उसमें हमने स्टूडेंट्स को 1500 पाउंड्स की स्कॉलरशिप ऑफर की है मई में व्हिच इज अ रीजनल अवार्ड जो कि पाकिस्तानी रीजन के लिए है और हर स्टूडेंट उसके लिए क्वालीफाई कर रहा था उसके लिए कोई ग्रेड्स की रिक्वायरमेंट नहीं थी और ये हमने मई में स्टूडेंट्स को दी है सितंबर के लिए हम अभी डिसाइड कर रहे हैं क्योंकि जैसा कि रस ने आपको बताया कि सितंबर के लिए हमारे पास कुछ बड़े प्लान्स हैं जैसे अकोमोडेशन का हमने आपको बताया उसके अंदर इससे बहुत ज़्यादा स्टूडेंट पैसे सेव कर रहा है कि उसकी अकोमोडेशन की जिम्मेदारी यूनिवर्सिटी ले रही है तो इसमें यह है कि हम अभी इसके नगोशिएशन के ऊपर हैं डिस्कशन के ऊपर हैं रीजनल अवार्ड जैसा कि मैंने बताया पंद्रह का मई इनटेक में था सेप्टेम्बर के लिए अभी आपको थोड़े दिन में फाइनल अपडेट्स पता चल जाएंगी तो आई सो वॉन्ट के स्टूडेंट्स अपने कंसल्टेंट के साथ इन टच रहें ताकि हम उनको अपडेट करते रहें और वो इन्फॉर्मेशन आपके साथ फर्दर जो है वो शेयर कर दी जाए definitely students we will guide you inshallah on the scholarship uh, side uh, whenever we uh, as soon as we receive any kind of update from coventry so thank you so much ma'am uh, the next question which students is asking about what is the last date for uh, to apply in uh, september intake so the last date to apply in september is the end of june uh, in july even we are accepting applications but i so want students to complete their process by end of june or mid of july so they can timely apply for their visas sure sure uh ma'am uh, here's a question and st student is asking about he has cleared the interview uh, credibility inter inter credibility interview and uh, is it valid and remain valid for his september intake so if the course is same then it is valid for september intake if there's a change in the course then he will be asked few questions about the new course uh it will be a shorter form of the interview chota hoga itna detail nahi hoga लेकिन उसके कोर्स मॉड्यूल्स जो हैं जो चेंज होंगे वो पूछे जाएंगे 
अगर मैम कोर्स सेम रहता तो इंटरव्यू नहीं होगा कोर्स अगर सेम है तो इंटरव्यू नहीं होगा दोबारा सो एस एन ना यू हैव फाइंड द आंसर थैंक यू सो मच मैम द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन व्हिच स्टूडेंट इज आस्किंग अबाउट कैन यू प्लीज प्रोवाइड डिटेल ऑफ काइंड ऑफ फी इंस्टॉलमेंट फॉर एमएससी डेटा एनालिटिक्स फॉर सितंबर इंटेक सो देयर आर थ्री इंस्टॉलमेंट्स ऑफ द ट्यूशन फी फर्स्ट स्टूडेंट हैज टू पे ऑन गेटिंग अ कैश लेटर जो कि वन थर्ड होती है विच इज नॉर्मली फोर थाउजेंड पाउंड वन थर्ड जितनी भी आपकी टोटल फीस है आप उसको वन थर्ड पे डिवाइड कर दें एग्जाम्पल मैंने दे दी आपको फोर थाउजेंड का उससे कुछ ज्यादा बनती है ये फर्स्ट इंस्टॉलमेंट होती है इन ऑर्डर टू गेट दर कैश लेटर्स विच इज फुली रिफंडेबल इन केस ऑफ अ वीजा रिफ्यूजल अगर वीजा रिफ्यूज है तो कोई डिडक्शन नहीं होती और हम फुल रिफंड करते हैं फीस सेकेंड इंस्टॉलमेंट स्टूडेंट जब वहाँ पे यूके में पहुंचता है इनरोलमेंट के टाइम के ऊपर स्टूडेंट ने पे करनी है और थर्ड इंस्टॉलमेंट स्टूडेंट तीन से चार महीने के बाद पे कर सकता है टोटल थ्री इंस्टॉलमेंट्स हैं सो थैंक यू सो मच आई गेस अली यू हैव फाइंड द आंसर सो कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन एंड दिलीप इज आस्किंग अबाउट सम ऑफ द इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज कोर्सेज व्हिच कोवेंट्री हैज बीन ऑफरिंग सो व्हाट आर काइंड ऑफ अपडेट ऑन दीस सो वी हैव इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज टीचिंग एंड अप्लाइड लिंग्विस्टिक्स uh we have creative writing uh, uh and there are a lot of number of more courses so english language teaching and applied linguistics that is available for students who want to further progress in english okay ma'am agar uh, i guess a student is asking about a kind of pre sessional classes so uh uske okay. bare mein bhi kis tarah yeah ki bilkul my pre sessional classes hoti hain uh 5 weeks 10 weeks 15 weeks, 20 weeks, ये जो है उसका और आ, बिल्कुल हम ऑनलाइन अभी सिचुएशन अभी जैसे अभी क्लैरिटी नहीं है तो हम इसको शायद ऑनलाइन के ऊपर भी कन्वर्ट कर दें तो ये जून जुलाई में प्री सेशन इंग्लिश की ऑनलाइन क्लासेस स्टार्ट हो जाएंगी लेकिन अगर यूके यूनिवर्सिटीज और हाई कमीशन ओपन होती है तो स्टूडेंट वहाँ पे जाके आ, जो है वो ये ऑनलाइन की बजाय खुद फेस टू फेस टीचिंग वहाँ पे जाके कर सकता है प्री सेशन इंग्लिश So yes, we have alternatives available: five weeks, ten weeks, fifteen weeks, and twenty weeks. Okay. Um, uh, this uh, this is a kind of a question which students are very concerned about uh, that they are applying for the September intake. And uh, what about the refund um, in case of uh, visa refusal? So fee is as I described earlier that fee is fully refundable in case of a visa refusal. लेकिन रिफ्यूजल आपका किसी ऐसी चीज पे नहीं होना चाहिए जो आपने यूनिवर्सिटी से छुपाई है या डिक्लेयर नहीं की यानी समटाइम्स इस तरह से होता है कि स्टूडेंट का कोई प्रीवियस वीजा रिफ्यूजल होता है और उसने यूनिवर्सिटी से डिक्लेयर नहीं किया होता और बाद में वीजा रिफ्यूजल में यूनिवर्सिटी को पता चलता है कि पहले भी रिफ्यूजल था इसका तो कोई भी चीज़ आपने यूनिवर्सिटी से हाइड नहीं करनी अगर आप कोई भी चीज़ हाइड नहीं कर रहे और आप प्रॉपर तरीके से प्रोसेस से अपना लेके चल रहे हैं तो फी फुली रिफंडेबल है इन केस ऑफ वीजा रिफ्यूजल बैंक टू बैंक डिडक्शन कुछ नॉर्मली वो सिर्फ बैंक डिडक्शन चार्जेस होते हैं वो ट्रांसफर चार्जेस होते हैं हार्डली मेरा ख्याल है टू थाउजेंड या थ्री थाउजेंड डिडक्ट होते हैं लेकिन यूनिवर्सिटी की कोई भी किसी किस्म की भी डिडक्शन नहीं and uh, i want to uh, tell our audience that our visa success ratio till now is 100% so uh, you can apply from uh, through us and uh, we are trying our level best to Uh, achieve what you really want so yeah so ma'am uh, the next question is a, a kind of bit long question um, but he is asking kind of some reason that is there any policy if we can get an admission in september intake and somehow intake is cancelled like we have experience in the may intake that first semester was uh, was gone online so what about the second semester student is asking about kind of uh, have a uh, you can say a confirmation but there is no such kind of confirmation as uh, uh, that will he get a visa as he he is already enrolled in the coventry university so does this kind of uh, you can say uh, uh, point support his application sure सो लेट्स से आई टॉक अबाउट मई इनटेक अगर कोई स्टूडेंट जो मई में ऑनलाइन हमारा कोर्स स्टार्ट कर चुका है और सितंबर में खुदा न खास्ता उसका वीज़ा नहीं लगता तो वीज़ा ना लगने के ऊपर उसकी फीस रिफंड कर दी जाएगी वो अपना फी रिफंड ले सकता है 
लेकिन मैंने जैसा कि पहले बताया कि रिफ्यूजल का रीजन ये नहीं होना चाहिए कि आपने यूनिवर्सिटी से कोई बात छुपाई है यानी कि प्रीवियस वीजा रिफ्यूजल के ऊपर या या कोई फेक डॉक्यूमेंट लगाया कोई फेक बैंक स्टेटमेंट लगाई या एजुकेशनल डॉक्यूमेंट्स किसी किस्म की भी फ्रॉडेंट एक्टिविटी अगर उसमें इन्वॉल्व नहीं है तो आपको रिफंड मिल जाएगा नो no मैटर आपने अपना मई में ऑनलाइन कोर्स भी स्टार्ट कर दिया सितंबर में अगर आपका वीजा नहीं लगता तो आपकी फीस रिफंड कर दी जाएगी इसी तरह अगर सितंबर का कोर्स ऑनलाइन शिफ्ट हो जाता है और सितंबर के बाद जनवरी में लेट सपोज लेट सपोज ये अभी कुछ भी क्लैरिटी नहीं है इसके ऊपर जनवरी में स्टूडेंट का अगर वीजा नहीं लगता तो वही वाली चीज की फी रिफंड हो जाएगी अगर उसने कोई भी फ्रॉडिलेंट एक्टिविटी नहीं की Okay thank you so much just like to uh, actually the next add to that if I might do that um for students who sure. have completed their first semester online and passed uh the course then it would be almost impossible for them to not get awarded a visa when they uh come for the second semester because they've already shown evidence of having attended and passed so they have shown that they are genuine students it's not to say that it could not happen um and of course as here i think was talking about uh, fraudulent documents or things like that that's a separate matter but for genuine students who have gone through that process i mean the chance of them being refused a visa is almost zero i would have to say very 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 low so they shouldn't worry about that yeah uh thank you so much sir for reading a very uh, clear point on that yeah i guess student can have an uh, idea about that you have edited a point that uh, so coming to the next question ma'am uh student is asking about uh, can you see the question on the screen student is asking about he has done bs aviation management and uh, quench university is offering one year of msc air transport management which is equal to 16 year of education explain please mujhe ye samajh nahi aa rahi ki unka sawal kya hai inhone already bs aviation management commentary se kar li hai lekin puchna kya cha rahe hain basically ye basically mam pakistani education system mein aapko pata bachelor 4 year ke aur master 2 year ke as in comparison to uk mein the bachelor is of 3 year and the master is of 1 year so uh, pakistani student mostly used to get confused about it how that qualification relate to our qualification and equivalent to total of if agar master qualification hamari 18 years education hai wo kis tarah se isko complement karti hai so agar aap wo ye puchna cha rahe hain ki ek saal ka jo uk mein masters hota hai wo kis tarah se uski equivalence ka koi issue to nahi hota to uska equivalence ka koi issue nahi hota क्योंकि जो वन ईयर मास्टर्स है उसमें उतने क्रेडिट्स पढ़ाए जाते हैं जो कि इवन पाकिस्तान के दो साल के क्रेडिट्स से भी ज्यादा होते हैं तो इसमें इक्वलेंस का आज तक कभी कोई इशू नहीं हुआ पहले भी नहीं होता आ रहा तो आपको इस बारे में परेशान होने की बिल्कुल कोई जरूरत नहीं है जो वन ईयर मास्टर्स है वो यहाँ के दो साल के मास्टर्स के इक्वलेंट है और उसकी कोई इक्वलेंस का कोई इशू नहीं है If you extend the fee, then Coventry University give more scholarships, such as in May intake give fifteen hundred than now. Um, I mean, some of our student has faced this issue that uh, they have applied for the May intake and now they have deferred their offer for the September intake. But now the kind of fee, uh, the total fee of the program has been increased. So uh, students are asking uh, about this. So what's your take on this point? so this is the reason we are coming up with the phoenix award which is one semester free of cost regardless of whatever grades that you have so in other words you will be saving a lot of money one semester means minimum for 4 to 5 months so you don't have to worry about where you will be staying what accommodation fee because minimum accommodation cost in the uk is 400 to 600 pounds per month तो अगर आप इसको मल्टीप्लाई करें कि आप चार से पांच महीने की अकोमोडेशन आपको मिल रही है जो कि 600 पाउंड पर मंथ के हिसाब से तो ये तकरीबन 2000 पाउंड से भी बहुत ज्यादा बनता है जो कि आप सेव कर रहे होंगे तो यस वी हैव अल्टरनेटिव जैसा कि बताया हमने फिनिक्स अवार्ड
रखें और उसके लिए आप अप्लाई कर सकते हैं ओके थैंक यू सो मच इन द अब स्टूडेंट हैज द एमएस बॉटनी सो कैन शी अप्लाई अगेन फॉर द एमएस फॉर बायोटेक्नोलॉजी इफ शी हैज डन इट फ्रॉम पाकिस्तान देन यस शी कैन अप्लाई फॉर बायोटेक्नोलॉजी इसमें बस मॉड्यूल्स जो होते हैं वो हमने देखने होते हैं कि वो मैच कर रहे हैं तो वो अगर बायोटेक्नोलॉजी के कुछ भी कोर्सेज उन्होंने बॉटनी में पढ़े हैं तो ऑफ कोर्स वो अप्लाई कर सकती हैं इसमें स्टेटमेंट ऑफ पर्पस आपको बहुत अच्छी लिखनी होगी कि आप ये कोर्स क्यों करना चाहती हैं आपकी करियर इंस्पिरेशन क्या हैं आपके गोल्स क्या हैं एम्बिशन क्या हैं तो प्रॉपर तरीके से आप एप्लीकेशन करें और जो है आई डोंट थिंक कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं होगी बिल्कुल आप कर सकती हैं एज लॉन्ग एज कि आपने पाकिस्तान से पढ़ा हुआ है अगर आपने ऑलरेडी यू से मास्टर्स किया है और आप एक और मास्टर्स करना चाह रहे हैं तो उसमें फिर बहुत डिटेल आपने एक्सप्लेशन प्रोवाइड करनी होती है कि आप क्यों दोबारा एक और मास्टर्स अडॉप्ट करना चाह रहे हैं तो आप कर सकती हैं अप्लाई थैंक यू सो मच द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज इफ समवन हैज पास्ड कोवेंट्री इंग्लिश टेस्ट एंड क्रेडिबिलिटी इंटरव्यू फॉर द मई इंटेक डज इट वैलिड फॉर द सितंबर इंटेक आल्सो यस दैट इज वैलिड फॉर सितंबर इंटेक एज़ वेल एज़ लॉन्ग एज़ द कोर्स इज सेम अगर सेम कोर्स है तो फिर क्रेडिबिलिटी इंटरव्यू दोबारा नहीं होगा अगर कोर्स चेंज है तो फिर जो नया कोर्स है उसके मॉड्यूल्स दोबारा से पूछे जाएंगे और जो इंग्लिश टेस्ट है वो आपका वैलिड होता है अगर आपने पास कर लिया ऑलरेडी इंग्लिश टेस्ट और सेम कोर्स है आपका यानी इस तरह नहीं है कि पहले आप बैचलर्स में थे और बाद में आप मास्टर्स में जा रहे हैं कोर्स सेम है डिसिप्लिन सेम है तो वो ही इंग्लिश टेस्ट और वो ही क्रेडिबिलिटी इंटरव्यू एक्सेप्टेबल होगा आई होप मोहसिन आपको आपका आंसर मिल गया थैंक यू सो मच मैम the question is a student is asking about a bit clarification in the installment section as you have mentioned ki aapne bataya ki there are three installment plan so student is asking about some uh, other breakdown uh it cannot be four installments total three installments hi hoti hain first installment at the time of applying your cas second installment on enrollment एंड थर्ड इंस्टॉलमेंट जब आप अपना सेकेंड सेमेस्टर स्टार्ट कर रहे होते हैं उससे पहले इससे ज्यादा फर्दर इसमें रिलैक्टेशन नहीं है तीन इंस्टॉलमेंट्स हैं टोटल और ये इसी तरह रहता है प्रोसेस um i guess zara is very active with us and uh, she is asking she has been asking question again and again for a bit clarification that is really great so she has she has asked a question now so uh, if you have a study gap you need to give uh, its explanation ke study gap aapka kyun tha study gap acceptable nahi hota study gap ke dauran agar aap koi job kar rahi hain kuch aapka experience hai aapki field se related hai to wo aapne justify karna hota hai agar hum isko clear kar bhi denge to aap se visa officer yahi sawal karega ki aapka study gap kyun tha तो इसको आपने जस्टिफाई करना है एज लॉन्ग एज आप उसको जस्टिफाई करी हैं और वी आर सेटिस्फाइड और आप वीजा ऑफिसर को भी सेटिस्फाई प्रॉपरली कर पाई हैं तो कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है बट अगर आपने उस गैप को जस्टिफाई ही नहीं किया तो फिर एक्सेप्टेबल नहीं होगा थैंक यू सो मच मैम स्टूडेंट्स आर अगेन आस्किंग अबाउट क्लैरिफिकेशन विल से Uh, contribute we to the comment hopeful, in a single that's a very hopeful uh, we daily discuss this point on regular basis on weekly basis on monthly basis we have all the plans set up for september intake uh, so i don't think that you need to worry uh, in case in case if there isn't then we have january intake we have may intake but at the moment there is no problem we are smoothly running everything and i don't think so ras do you want to add anything here um yeah and no, i know that it's it's obviously quite a common uh topic of questions for students at the moment everyone's concerned about september we are um definitely trying to push ahead with our september business as usual um as here was saying uh, if for some reason we can't although i think that we will be able to run it if for some reason we can't we do have the opportunity to maybe push it back a month or or students can go in january instead whatever it might be it's not that much of a gap but we fully intend to run 
September business as usual at Coventry University. Sure, thank you so much. Uh, my guess, uh, last question uh, we need to uh, answer as time is uh, quite running up. So, a uh, student is asking about that uh, if anyone take admission online in the main take, as Coventry uh, has launched the main take online. So, he will pay. Does he need to pay all his tuition fee before getting a cash letter uh, in August? Okay. So, online course, you have to pay first installment and you will start your online classes. Start kar denge. Jo second installment is you enrollment, or yeah, uh, cash. Uh, sorry, I repeat it again. First installment you will pay when you start online classes. If you want to start May, you will pay the first installment abhi pay karenge. Second installment you pay karenge before the issuance of CAS. CAS se pehle, yani September mein, aap is, August September you second installment pay karenge. Aur September October yani enrollment pay aapne third installment pay karenge. Okay. So second so or third jo hai, wo saath saath hai. Yani second you pay karenge CAS se pehle, aur third you pay karenge enrollment fee par, jab aapka visa lag hai. Thank you. Thank you. Um, um, Russ, I, I really need to uh, talk about that how your experience with the prospects consulting. So uh, our audience are really keen to know about your experience with us. Mm -hmm. Sure, from my point of view, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Been been great. Been been a, a very useful, a very straightforward partner with Coventry whilst we've been working together. I've been very impressed with the standard of the students as well coming through been very good students uh, very good applications the service is excellent um prompt with responses when we need them yeah i i, I can't think of any 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 bad things to say at all to be honest it's all been very good so far so thank you very much prospect is one of our, our key partners in pakistan hey would thank you, you like so to much for else? believing in us and uh yeah, that's it. So over to Ma'am Hira. Ma'am, you can share a little bit about your experience. Ra. And obviously, we are really privileged to work with the Coventry University as uh, Coventry is the leading recruiter in the Pakistan. So you uh, can share a little bit your experience. Yes, it's a very good with the staff. staff highly trained, hai, highly motivated, hai, uh, energetic. Hai. And I have seen that they are very good efforts to help their students ko in preparing them for the interview. Har cheez ke liye, from the scratch level, they are very good at the interview. And when they are in the students' ke visas, they are very happy that their students are very good at the interview. So, this is the best thing about them that they are very good at the interview, they are very good at the interview, they are very proper guidance. Even English tests, the procedure, pattern, credibility interview, ke upar, what kind of questions uh, will be asked. But it's not just hum wo sawal kar rahe visa officer bhi wo sawal kar raha hoga. Bahut se aise students hote hain jinko credibility interview ka idea nahi hota ki ye kya cheez hai aur wo fail ho jate hain. Aur I'm afraid ki fail ho jaye to fir zari baat hai fir unke liye koi koi chance nahi hota. To ye bahut zaruri hai ki student ko proper tarike se guide kiya jaye, unhe bataya jaye. उन्हें प्रिपेयर किया जाए कि आप से किस किस्म के सवाल किए जाएंगे आप क्यों यूके आना चाहते हैं आपके एंबिशंस क्या हैं फोकस क्या है आपके करियर इंस्पिरेशंस क्या हैं बहुत से स्टूडेंट्स इन सवालों में बहुत ब्लैंक होते हैं ब्लाइंड होते हैं या उनको ये जवाब आते हैं लेकिन वो बोल नहीं पाते तो कॉन्फिडेंस लेवल उनका जो है वो ये बिल्कुल एक एजेंट की रिस्पांसिबिलिटी होती है कि वो उसको जो शाइनेस है जो कॉन्फिडेंस है उसको सामने लेके आए they are doing very good job, बहुत अच्छा काम कर रहे हैं और इंशाल्लाह हमारी भी सपोर्ट है और all the best, all the best for you guys. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. And uh, I really want to mention in then that uh, we are providing our consultancy on the free basis. The reason is that we are uh, the official representative of Coventry University in Pakistan. So whoever wants to apply in the Coventry, do contact us. We have provided our details in the comment section. We have provided our details on the post. So you can contact us. And uh, we are very privileged to say this, that uh, till now, we have 100% visa success ratio. So yeah. Uh, Ma'am, just we are wrapping with the session. Just quickly uh, summarize in the, you can say, 
आज हमारी क्या किन पॉइंट्स के ऊपर हमने बात की सर क्विकली स्टूडेंट के लिए अगर हम समराइज कर दें सो क्विक समरी ये है कि जी बिल्कुल आइल्स के जो है वो बैकअप ऑप्शंस हैं हमारे पास इंग्लिश टेस्ट हम अपना ऑनलाइन करने जा रहे हैं इन अगले महीने से ठीक है जी और क्रेडिबिलिटी इंटरव्यूज हमारे ऑलरेडी हो रहे हैं अगर कोई स्टूडेंट अभी अप्लाई करना चाहता है बिल्कुल अप्लाई कर सकता है एडमिशन सितंबर के भी ओपन है मई के भी ओपन है और जनवरी 2021 के एडमिशन भी ओपन है आप अप्लाई कर सकते हैं बिल्कुल अपने प्रोसेस को जो है वो स्टार्ट करें और यू बिल्कुल ओपन है कोविड नाइन्टीन की वजह से जो सारा कुछ है आ, हम बिल्कुल रेडी हैं हर चीज के लिए सेप्टेम्बर इन टेक फुल फ्लेज हर चीज पायलट रन है और इन जनवरी अगर खुदा न खास्ता आप सितंबर में नहीं जा पाते जनवरी इनटेक है मई इनटेक है फ्लेक्सिबल एंट्री रिक्वायरमेंट्स हैं कॉवेंट्री 15 रिक्रूटर 15 रैंक यूनिवर्सिटी है टॉप रिक्रूटर है पाकिस्तान से दो कैंपसेज हैं लंदन कैंपस है कॉवेंट्री कैंपस है अपकमिंग स्कॉलरशिप अभी हम और एक हफ्ते तक अपनी वेबसाइट के ऊपर अपडेट कर देंगे उसका थोड़ा सा हमने बता भी दिया कि फिनिक्स अवार्ड के नाम से हम उसको इनिशिएट कर रहे हैं जो कि स्टूडेंट्स की हेल्थ एंड वेलबींग को फोकस करते हुए कि वो कहाँ जाके रहेंगे क्या सर्कमस्टांसिस हैं उनको देखते हुए ये डिसाइड की गई है तो ये बेस्ट अपॉर्चुनिटी है कि आप अगर आना चाह रहे हैं यू तो आप अभी से अपना प्रोसेस स्टार्ट करें और बिल्कुल वी आर हेयर टू वेलकम and uh, uh, thank you so much ma'am apne you have discussed so many things about coventry and i can see i'm very really excited that uh, students are very keen to apply for the coventry university soon yeah and alhamdulillah we have the best team to uh, train on the credibility interviews we have the expert staff to guide uh, on the student consultancy so students you are uh, very open to contact with us as uh, coventry university has mentioned a very good remarks about us so thank you so much ras for um, being so humble being so kind and uh, uh, you have uh, uh, guided the student very well and i, I be, am very hopeful that student uh, get a lot of information from you so thank you so much for thank your you. time and ma'am your enormous support has been the key for our success so thank you so much again for with us so uh, i guess we are wrapping now and uh, do you need to add so any much. point thank you so much uh, if student has any concerns they can drop their message uh, or they can write to prospects consulting uh, and and they'll get back to us uh, we'll respond back with a firm response thanks a lot guys for having us here today thank you a lot all the best thank you thanks very thank much you. thanks for having us thank you ras thanks so much uh you can contact with us you can drop your details so that our team member will uh, contact you back jo koi bhi interested hai uh, aap apni detail provide kar sakte hain i can see you are you have been asking number of question but due to the time limitation we are uh, we haven't answered you uh, all of your questions so uh, you can discuss your uh, question with us our expert will answer your question koi bhi aapko kisi kisam ki guidance chalti do contact with us thank you so much dua mein yaad rakhiyega allah hafiz